David Sontag came here today, he says, to apologize to Minnie Jean for an altercation in the cafeteria. What happened? Oh, I just went in the cafeteria and uh, I'd sort of been dared by other kids, you know, to, you know, to retaliate for Minnie Jean for having poured chili on someone's head earlier. And I, so I, I did it. But it was not, uh, it was not done with, out of hate. Well, was it done it was out of... It was just done <laughs> out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Of not understanding her plight. Mm -hmm. And our, our, the plight of all of them, we didn't really know. We weren't walking in their shoes. We didn't put ourselves in their shoes. And I know that I didn't treat them the way I would have wanted to be treated. How did you treat them? Um, I don't necessarily remember being ugly, straightforward to, to any of them individually, but just being a part of a group that would, you know, chant and uh, say negative things. Mm -hmm. Are you the reason uh, Minnie Jean was, was expelled? I may be part of the reason. <laughs> uh -huh. You were the reason she was expelled. And what happened to you? I was suspended. You were suspended and she was expelled. Uh -huh. I may have been expelled too, and, but reinstated, you know, uh -huh. later. She was not. So uh, you came here today, what? Do you, I am genuinely sorry for any negative things that I did at that time. I was really acting as a child that was not prepared for Were the you, moment. What, what was going on in your family and with your friends about this entire integration process? What were you all saying? It was mainly um, friends, not my family. Mm -hmm. I was not raised to be racist at all. Mm -hmm. um, I have seven brothers and three sisters. And I mean, we never used the N-word among us. Um, but you did with your friends? With friends, mm -hmm. yes. And um, and I'm sorry that I used that in my language, and I refused to use it any longer, and have for years. Mm -hmm. It didn't take me long. So how did you feel when that year was over, David? How long before you regretted your ignorant behavior? Oh, when I went in the service. Really? And what happened there? I met black men that I had worked side by side with. Mm -hmm. And I got to know them, I got to like them. I really never got to know these people, mm -hmm. only by reading about them. Mm -hmm. And you are now and here because you were ashamed. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I knew Carlotta just because she had a locker close to me and we yeah. would, you know, yeah. well, That's how I'm, I'm, I, I recognized you off the bed. I remember you, I remember your smile, <laughs> I remember your eyes, I remember your cat calls. You used to get me coming out of English class, walking down the hall, you remember that? And I, I've never forgotten your name. I've never forgotten your name, never, ever. Was he not nice to you? He was insidious because he was continuous. He was like relentless. He never gave up. It wasn't like he did this one day. It was like every day. And he never really uh, hit or anything, but I always expected him to. And he was just always there. And he had the most vibrant eyes. And he just, he really frightened me because every day he was there. You know, it wasn't like it was gonna to be today, Tuesday, Thursday. It's gonna be every day. Every time you see him, every you know time trouble. Him. So it was like Chinese water torture. It was like he had a day job. It That's was right. <laughs> right, man, he was, he was on time. He was on time and on target every day. Every day. Every day. Does his apology mean anything to you? I would like to come forward and a lot. apologize to him. Yeah, it means a lot to us. I want to get this out here. I wish you all the good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And you better listen than you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It means everything to me. Special look back at Race on the Oprah Show with Tamron Hall. In Chicago. Trailblazers, legends, newsmakers. You think because she's black, because I'm black, we're monkeys? It's a proven fact. If you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsamon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence.